Well, here's a problem that it happened today. We had some furniture moved in, and the moving company, by, by accident, uh, had managed to break off the, uh, the switch, uh, just a regular single pole switch. So I'm going to take advantage of this and show you how to replace it. Uh, well, you're going to need some sort of a light, a flashlight or a lamp. I've got a lamp here. You're going to need to shut the power off, and obviously you're going to need to uh, be safe about this. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is I'm going to move this off to the side so I can get that face plate off. Go ahead and get your screwdriver and get that faceplate off there. Get that out of the way. And I happen to have myself a little voltage tester here that detects uh, detects the line voltage. You turn it on and that tells us that there's power in there. And obviously there is because the light still works. So I'm going to need to go shut this off at the breaker and uh, I'll be back. Go ahead and shut the breaker off. Okay, make sure you get yourself some sort of light. Here's my lamp here. And uh, I'll try to give it uh, set it up here so you can see. All right, so we're gonna double check, make sure we have no power coming through here with my tester. And we don't, we're good to go. And let's go ahead and pull that switch out of there. Now what you're going to want to do is remove these wires. I'm going to go ahead and start with the ground wire here. Pull that out of there. Get that up out of the way. And if you're not sure of yourself, go ahead and take a picture with your phone. Everybody's got a phone. Take a picture of your phone. You can always go back and look at it. And remove both of those wires. Yeah. All right. Well, plus, I just finally broke off. Just me messing with it. There's the old one. Okay. And then take your new switch. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my ground wire. Take a pair of pliers. Go ahead and just kind of squeeze it together there. Next one on. Okay, you want to make sure that it says off and it's on. You don't want to put it in backwards. It's upside down. It's going to say no. Do not put the switch in this way. Okay, so off and then just taking kind of a cordiate in back inside here I like to kind of push it in kind of like that pull it back out make sure everything is okay mm -hmm. now this switch here you see this one still has the ears on it that's because this switch box was cut in so what I need to do is break these tabs off this switch right here so it will set in on the box Go ahead, take your Y strippers or a pair of pliers and break those off. This is only if you have a box that is cut in, or if you're not sure, just look at the switch that you took out. I can show you what will happen is if you put it in like that, the switch is actually going to sit up a little too far, and the faceplate may sit up too far. And with them off, you look down on the bottom here it will actually sit in there flush. Okay, go ahead, put your switch in. What I like to do is just kind of get it started on both ends here. Once I've done that, then I like to push it in, make sure it seats good. 
You see where taking those ears off, it sits flush in with that box. After I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down. Go ahead and put your face plate back on. Okay, let's go turn the breaker back when on. You're all set, go ahead and turn it back on. And if we're successful, there we go. I'll turn off my lamp so you can. There we go. Back up and going. Remember, always shut the power off before you do anything with electricity. So, uh, this was an unexpected fix. So, I'm glad it kind of happened in a way because I wanted to show you how to replace a uh, single post switch. So, again, be safe and thanks an awful lot for watching.